Hey everybody, this is FHRC Brony, Radio Control and Cars, and uh, California is in in a pile of shit right now. And what I mean by that, uh, basically if you go outside in California, Oregon, and Washington, it feels like you just walked inside the depths of hell. Yes, wildfires, unhealthy weather conditions right now, but uh, I'm stuck at home. But... Um, at least I'm gonna be doing something productive you know, while I wait for the skies to clear up. And as you can see over here, I, there's, what is this, you might ask? Well, this is a Traxxas Nitro Rustler that my uncle uh, gave to me. Uh, and it was actually like this, it was gutted. Uh, no engine, none of that stuff. So, I um, wanted to go ahead and restore it. And as you can see, some of the parts most of the parts, like the important stuff is there. The suspension arms and the um, shock towers are there, so I can easily put a body in here and stuff and stuff like that. So yeah. Um so I'll be going ahead and do that. Uh, electronics, I didn't get any electronics for it yet, like a servo, the battery holder or anything like that. I didn't get them just yet because I want to get the uh, the most important stuff, at least the hardware, uh, installed in this thing before I go ahead and do the electronics. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to put this down real quick and I'll show you what's inside this bag. Um, obviously, I got uh, wheels for it. Uh, these are actually specific to the Nitro Rustler because the difference between the, well, these tires can technically fit the regular two-wheel drive rustler but the only difference is the front of the nitro rustler the nitro rustler uses this kind of special piece special uh, hub uh, hub axles that i don't know how to describe but basically normally on a normal rc car uh, like the tracks rustler slash bandit stampede in this the back end usually has uh, 12 millimeter hexes. This one does not use 12 millimeter hexes. In fact, it actually uses circular hubs. And what is that? That's actually supposed to be the bearing. So the bearing goes in there, not a not a hex hub. But the rears actually do use a hex hub. I know you can't see it, but I can. So put that down. And I also I got some. All craziness in here. Uh, I got bearings, ball bearings, obviously. This is the 5x10s. I got, uh, this is actually part of the clutch assembly. Um, screws. Uh, also, uh, these are these are also ball bearings, but these are 5x11s. Yeah, 5x11s. Uh, nitro engine mount and more bearings yay more bearings yeah these are 5x11s as well okay. so I got four 5x11s and uh, hex hubs for the rear and uh, uh, what do you call it? hub carriers uh, clutch shoes and uh, a clutch bell. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the flywheel because my local hobby shop, I went there yesterday and they didn't have the flywheel. They said the new, a new one will come in later this, no, later next week. So somewhere around Wednesday or Thursday, they will have it. So, so I won't be able to rebuild, rebuild it yet until I get that flywheel so I can get that in, so I can get the engine in. And speaking of the engine, there, this is the engine that's going to be running on this thing. Let me go ahead and put this on the side real quick. This over here is a Pro 15 engine, and uh, I will be unboxing this in a, in a bit, but uh, it has... Aluminum piston with oil groove, foam air filter, uh, a 
large bore high flow carburetor, ball bearings, um, connecting rod, high strength connecting rod, uh, has a lawn mower starter. Yeah, you know, you know, lawn mowers that you pull it and it will start. And then you know, all those cool stuff. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, Pro 15 engine. This is the engine that you find mainly on the Traxxas Nitro Sport. Why Pro 15? Because this is the cheapest one in stock in the, at my local hobby shop. I mean, I can't say no to $100. That's cheap, actually, for a nitro engine. Normally, these kind of motors are usually over 150 200 so I got a pretty good deal out of it, so. Yes, well, I mean, add tax. It's, it's um, California sales tax here. You know, it's still cheaper than I than you think it is. But uh, yeah, so that's the Pro 15 engine. And that's all that stuff that's gonna go on my Nitro Rustler. Uh, like I said, I don't have the flywheel yet. My local hobby shop will get a new shipment in by next week. So can't wait for that. So once that new flywheel comes in, I'm gonna go ahead and do the, the uh, photo compilation and do of the build process. So I'm gonna be unboxing this in a, in a separate video. So keep on the lookout on that.